Silhouette Software has been listening. They are coming out with a version 4. This is literally in the beta. Please do not download this software if you are wanting to use it to cut with right now. Studio Beta, it is only, only a beta edition. Yes, it will cut. Yes, it may work. But yes, there are issues. This is the bug time. This is when people get all the bugs out of their machines and work on the um, software side of things. Do not download this right now. I am only showing you a sneak peek of what's to come. Um, very pretty graphics. It's got a, definitely a whole new look, a whole new thing going on here. Um, I am running business edition, so that's why y'all see this here. But this is where you would look for your designer edition, designer plus, whatever software that you would have. This is where you're going to see it here. Um, definitely has a whole nother look. It's looking more graphic based to me than craft. But it is still a crafting machine. All of your tools are still there. They have just moved a few. Um, they've been moved. There's been some added. There's been some updates. It is definitely a whole new look. But I will tell you, I am liking the look of it myself. Um, hopefully, this doesn't take too terribly long to load because of the software I'm running. Sometimes it lags a little. Nope, there it is. So this is what you get to look forward to, and this is what is going to be the new Silhouette Studio 4 software. Again, like I said, all the same great features, but icons are in a different place. If you look at it, it looks really different. Um, different's not always a bad thing, because I have seen some new things in here that is absolutely amazing. Um, here you'll see, here's your design space. This is where you're designing from. Go here, you'll go to the store, go here, you'll go to your library, and send. This is when you, really when you're ready to send it to your cut files, um, to your machine. So this is, you know, your last step of the process. Everything else here is all your drawings. You still have all of your, you know, line tools here. This, to me, is a new line tool, and it is neat, neat, neat. Take and drag you out of line. And guess what? Now you're going to be able to come up and over and make a arc at whatever angle that you want it to be. Wherever you stop, click again, and it's done. Use this little slider here, and you make the whole thing as small as you need it to be. This is great for when you're doing arcs and things and needing them for like a text to pass. Um, so this is a really, really neat feature. When you click off of it, that's all you have left is your actual arc, not everything else. If you need it back into the design and edit mode, just double click on it and it's right back there. So this feature was really neat to me. Um, another one here in our shapes tool. Some of us have been screaming and wanting these shapes for a while now. So you still have your rectangle, your rounded rectangle, your oval, all that's still there. This one right here is a game changer your polygon tool. Come out here, drag, you know, hold down your left button and drag it, and there you go. Now this neat little thing, this little slider here, but only there's a square, but I want a triangle. There's your triangle. All the way up to all your multiple sides, all the way down to you can do 60. That pretty well makes it a complete circle. Um, some people want more like a wavy little pattern, you know, so there's your little wavy looking patterns. And so this is super neat and super exciting with some new features that are coming. With new features comes new quirks. With new quirks come new locations for things. So it is definitely going to be a learning process. There's some really, really neat things going on. Um, you still have your pen tool. And I really like the smooth one because, I mean, you can come in here and draw your own. Super simple. Um, the one thing I think may help some of people is, you know, there's your select, there's your nodes. If you need to get into something and look at the actual nodes that's there. The eraser tool seems to be working better, at least for me, for what little bit I've played. There's your knife tool. Um, that's to select everything you've got, you know, multiple things on your screen and instead of coming up here and going, you know, well, I need that one and then holding down shift and coming over here and grabbing that one. No, you literally select all and it's all there for you. So you can come in here and right click and group it. Now it's one. So the select all is definitely a neat feature. Very beneficial to some. Um, you can select them by color. So let's say we have this one and we need it 
red, so we're going to go red, and then we're going to make another one and go blue, and another one is yellow. Let's do another yellow one, and another blue one, and another red one. So now we're going to come over here and select by color, and we can tell it, oh, I have that one highlighted, so it's going to select that one. So if I come to blue, uh, well, I fill color. There's fill color. Um, so you can come in here and say, select all the blue ones. No, let's select all the yellow ones. No, let's go select all the red ones. So that's really neat and very simple. Um, definitely liking that. So let me get rid of all this. And let's look at some other features. For me, working with Illustrator or other graphics programs, you're used to kind of being able to have these little menus, been able to be where you want them to be. And guess what? Now we can. So let's say there's my fill color and here's my line color. So when I'm working with this stuff, I want, I want it together. That way I can just come over here and quick and easy do it. Well, there's my menu. So simple. It's right there. Um, another feature that usually goes hand in hand are your transformations and your replicates and your welding. Now those are all together. You can grab this top one and I can move this one wherever I want it. You can also collapse those down into one and they're all right there for you so you can open up what you wanted just right here. These don't sound like a whole lot of things for some people and for some people they won't be useful at all. But for some of the more graphic driven people they it's definitely a neater process to look at here and see where they're growing with their software. You close the X and they're all back. Nothing ever leaves here, so all your little shortcuts are here. Um, that's stipple, that's for the curio only. That's the emboss, that again is for the curio only. Here's the nesting tool, which makes it quick and easy for nesting. Um, your sketch pads, the rhinestones. Um, layers, if you're doing things in layers. The trace feature has gotten some new features, and some of them are really neat. You're going to be able to trace by color now. The magnet, I'm not 100% on. Again, this beta is very new, so I'm just beginning to play with it, but I wanted to give you all a little sneak peek of what's in here. So we're definitely getting some more trace abilities, which can be good and can be bad but some of it's going to make easier. Another one I thought was going to be extremely helpful to a lot of people is right here in the help, there's tutorials. You're going to have the ability to see live tutorials. Right now, there's only one. Again, we're in the beta, but it's going to teach you how to make this little simple flower charm. And it's neat because it literally is going to walk you through what to do. And it's going to do that. And it's not going to leave the screen until you, you know, it gives you time to go do what you need to do and duplicate it. And then when you're ready, you hit next. Then it's going to show you the next step. It's going to show you how to do it. And again, it's not going anywhere until you tell it that you've done your side or you're done watching it. So you hit next. And it will walk you through the entire process of how to make this flower. All the way to the charm on the end and welding it to the end. So to me, that was really, it's going to be very useful and very neat for those that are coming in here, really trying to learn and want to know how these features work in there. So I really hope y'all are enjoying the sneak peek of what's to come. Again, please, 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 unless you're people like me that really just like to go out there and try new software and try and see what's going on and not be bogged down by a business, by needing your machine to be cutting right this very minute all those kinds of things, do not download this software on your main computer until it has been released for the for usage. Right now it's available to the public. Anybody can go get it, but don't do it if you only have one computer. It's not worth it. You're going to get frustrated because there are going to be bugs. Wherever they are, there's going to be bugs, and it's what a beta test is for. It gives us a sneak peek of what's going on, but it also gives them the opportunity to have people like us that are willing to, to fight with the bugs to find, find them where they can fix them before hopefully they get to you. doesn't always happen, but for the most part, it works out, especially the bigger bugs. Um, so hopefully you're liking what you're seeing and going to enjoy the new software. So 
I won't be able to answer a lot of questions right now because I too am going to be learning and looking at this but if you have any I will look at it and see if I can find the answer to what you're looking for to see if it's here to see how it works um, so hope you enjoyed it thanks bye